appears like you and your brother happened along in the nick of time. That's just what anybody would have done, sir. I can assure you that ain't the case, young fella. Seeing as how there have been six payroll robberies in six weeks and nobody yet done nothing, including me. Your name? Lieutenant Kirby Scott. Or make that just Kirby Scott. You wouldn't by any thought be the Kirby Scott from Little Round Top, Antietam, Bull Run. Yes, I've been to those places, sir. Been to those places? Son, if you're the same Kirby Scott I'm talking about, we heard of you even way out here in this little one mule town. No wonder Johnny there thinks you're aces, and he rode with Jeb Stewart. There's a lot of heroes in the war, Sheriff. If you don't mind, I'd just assume not jaw about it. Minding my own business don't precisely come with this job, if you know what I mean. No offense. I often wonder if folks keep electing me because I'm naturally nosy or just not being the swiftest bull in the herd don't qualify me for much else. Man needs to know his limitations. And able companions they have become. If these are the facts you'll swear to if need be, just put your John Henry on that last line there. What are your plans, son? Don't suppose you'd consider posting here as my deputy? It's a kind offer, sir, but no. It's a lousy offer, and I don't blame you one whit. This town's been mouse quiet since the mines shut down, but with the war over, folks are gonna come west faster than goose grease through a tin horn. Neither me nor Marshal Boone are getting any younger. There's plenty of able-bodied folk around. Able-bodied ain't what's in short supply. Good luck, son. <laughs> 